The visiting team, the Brandon Bobcats. The national championships and the Brandon Bobcats are like peanut butter and jelly. You can't have one without the other. For the 24th time in the past 28 years, the Cats are back at Halifax. I've watched uh, this Brandon team play for like a long time, being from Verdon, and you know, it's, I'm just glad to be a part of it. It's a lot of fun. Adam Hartman has been there twice before, in 2003-2004 and 2004-2005. Uh, both times, Brandon came up short, but Hartman feels the third time could be a charm. I love the guys on the team, and we're something special this year. A Bobcats assistant coach Mike Rainbow is also looking forward to getting the tournament underway. Back in 2000, 2001 as a player, a Rainbow and the Bobcats found themselves one win away from a national title. Well, it was a little bit heartbreaking the year that we went. We lost in, uh, in overtime in the national final the year that I had the chance to go. A Rainbow is hoping this season, uh, this trip to Halifax, will have a better ending. Oh, definitely uh, be super special and I mean we have a group of guys that really deserves it and they've been working hard and playing well all year so. Chad Jacobson is one of those players. Having grown up in Brandon, he remembers watching former Bobcats like Tyrone Smith and Ernest Bell compete at Nationals. They helped me out a lot, you know, and watching them on TSN, you know, really motivated me to get here to where we're at today. Now Jacobson gets the chance to compete on the national stage and hopes to help the Bobcats achieve something they haven't done in over 10 years. It'd be unreal. I mean, this is my last year of basketball and being able to, to go out as a national champion would be real special, something I'd remember the rest of my life. In Brandon, Tyler Crayston, CK Exports.